I want to speak to you tonight for a few minutes on this 17th verse and the last phrase in that verse, whosoever will, whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. You may be seated. Uh, I read these verses several times this week, and uh, I want to talk to you for a little while. Amen. This evening, not very long, but enough, long enough to let you know you've been to church on running water. Amen. I, uh, I realize that these are difficult times and this is a day of, uh, we wonder what's going to happen tomorrow. We really, uh, it doesn't matter about the economy or politics or anything else. We're just not sure what's going to take place in the next little while. But our help and our confidence has got to be in God. Amen. I was reading these verses and I come to realize that uh, water is the very necessity of life. You can live longer without, e- without eating than you can without drinking. You've got to have water. Amen. For those that are in the middle of a desert and the water supply is exhausted from their goat skins and the caravan panting under a blistering sun, their feet is uh, consumed with the heat of the sand of the desert. And what is it that those people are wanting most of all? Amen. They cry bitterly. Uh, and uh, water. Water. Who? has any water. Amen. You take an army that's out on the march and they're fainting from the long, hard journey. Amen. Their canteens are empty and the hour of battle uh, battle is coming on and uh, the march orders are go forward. Amen. And no shelter from the blistering sun and no rest for their weary feet. Amen. And they're pushing on through all the heat and the suffocation. And what is it that those soldiers want more than anything else? That's water. Amen. Water, please. I read an article just recently about a man uh, who had walked over a battlefield on a hot summer night after a, a day of carnage and uh, and the cry of the wounded was... Absolutely unbearable, he said. After giving all the supply that he had, amen, he finally put his fingers in his ears because he could not bear the cry all over from the hundreds of those men that were wounded on the battlefield. Water, please give us water. For God's sake, give us water. And I want to say, Amen. Water is a vital necessity. We cannot survive and live without water. Amen. And the text that I read to you tonight, whosoever will, let him come and take the water of life freely. Amen. The Bible is all aglow. Amen. With fountains and wells and rivers and oceans and waters of all kinds and springs and Almost in every chapter you'll find something, especially in the Old Testament, about water. Solomon, that great wise man, said, is cold water to a thirsty soul. So is good news from a far country. Amen. Isaiah, when he's talking about the blessedness of Christians, he said they shall spring as, amen, willows by the water courses. Amen. Talked about the wells of living water. Streams from uh, Lebanon, amen. Streams shall break out in the desert, the Bible tells us in one place. Water is typical of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And, 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 and there's a couple of reasons I'd like to tell you wh- why that the gospel of Christ is typical of water. Amen. It's brightness. Amen. It's, it's, it, it gives a, Relief, amen. That which dashes from the city fountains has no luster. 
and compared to what springs out of this good book it's called the Bible. Amen. The living fountain of the gospel. Amen. And when you read its pages and the drops of water that comes from each verse and each chapter. Amen. It is the glory of heaven. Praise God. Good news, the Bible said. Amen. The angels. Amen. On the night that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judea. Amen. Those angels came to the shepherds on the hillside. And they said, Behold, I bring you glad tidings of great joy, which shall be unto all people. Amen. Joy for your pardon sins. Amen. Joy for broken bondage. Amen. And joy of a coming heaven after a while. If you give your heart to God, we've got something better to look forward to. This is a bright gospel. This is not a gloomy gospel. This is a, not a down and out gospel. This is a wonderful gospel. Amen. It's shining. It's a bright gospel. You remember, amen, when you read the word of God, he said, behold, I have found him whom my soul loveth. Amen. Joy in heaven among the angels. Amen. Over one soul that repenteth, the ninety-nine just that need no repentance. Amen. The best thing I can say this evening is, roll on waters of gladness. Roll on. Amen. Amen. Till every deaf ear hears the ripple of the wave. Amen. That the gospel has come to save. Amen. That which was lost. Till every blind eye. Amen. See the, amen, the brightness of the gospel that has come. Amen. To bring them relief from their sufferings of life. Amen. I'm glad for the gospel. Amen. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. This gospel, amen, uh, typifies, amen, by its refreshment. This gospel refreshes people. Amen. How different you feel after you've had a glass of Amen. Good, cool water. Nothing, nothing in life. Amen. So brings you back from a bad temper. Amen. Or a disturbed spirit. And puts you into a happy frame of mind and body. And just a good glass of cold water. Amen. Now, don't y'all fall out with me. Amen. I, I like to drink coffee. My wife drinks Coke. Amen. And other things, but there is nothing that satisfies like good cold water. Amen. It'll bring your spirits up. It'll refresh you when you are totally exhausted in life and you don't know which way to go. Amen. Troubles are mounting up on every side and you wonder what in the world is going to happen tomorrow. Amen. But if you read the Word of God, that Word of God is like cold water. Amen. It'll refresh your spirit. Bless be God for water. Amen. I like to hear, come on, y'all stay with me here. I like to hear the water falling out of the shower head. Amen. I like to see water rush from the ice pitcher into a clear glass. Amen. Thank God for water, clear water, bright water, beautiful water. Praise God. Amen. It's better refreshing than anything else you can get. When your spirit is discouraged and your soul is down and your heart is, amen, wondering where am I going to go and what can I do? And all of a sudden, amen, something out of God's eternal word. Amen. This is the way. Walk ye in it and ye shall find rest for your soul. Amen. When my heart is overwhelmed, amen, the writer said, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from my enemy. Praise God. Amen. There was a time when you were Amen. Wounded and hounded by things in your life of your past. 
Amen. And you wondered, oh God, can I get over my past? Amen. And you remember reading about Mount Sinai and the law that was given from God on Mount Sinai. Amen. Sinai thundered and the wrath of God cried. Amen. Justice cried. Amen. Help me here. Matter of fact, your own fears cried. Hey man, where, where am I gonna go? What's my end gonna be like? And then all of a sudden mercy cried out. Come. Praise God. Whoever's a thirst, let him come and drink of the words of life freely. Amen. You've been plunged into this fountain that never runs dry. You can go to church a hundred times. Amen. And every time you go, amen, you find something new and fresh that you didn't know and hear before. I'm here to tell you it's because the gospel is refreshing to your spirit and your soul. Well, hallelujah. Amen. Perplexities of life come. Amen. I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. I've I've had a few friends of mine through the years that were millionaires, but did y'all know millionaires have trouble too? Money is not the answer to all the ills of life. Amen. And uh, sometimes people that have lots of things in life, amen, a tragedy comes in 24 hours, it's all wiped out and wiped away, amen, the gold eagles have taken wings and flew away when they thought they had a nest egg laid up. Amen. I'm not old, but I'm older. Amen. And I've heard people talk about the golden years. I haven't found them yet. I'm still looking for the silver years. Hey, hey, man. But I want to tell you, life has a way of playing tricks on us. And we don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. The sadness of our lives. Sometimes that black hawk of death swoops down upon a family. Hey, man, and takes one of the children out of that home. Hey, man, that blessed child that you caressed and stroked its brow. Hey, man, rocked it until it fell asleep. Hey, man, hey, man, but death comes. And all of a sudden, amen, groan upon groan. And loss upon loss. And tears flow. And more tears come. Hey, man, from the depths of your fevered soul you call out, has God forgotten me? Hey, man, where is God? I need help. Where is He at when I need? And all of a sudden, hey, man, there's a promise that's made real to you. Hey, man, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of our God. Praise God, there's water in the gospel. Hey man, it's not only bright, it's refreshing. It'll strengthen you. It'll revive you. Hey man, just read its pages. Hey man, you'll draw strength out of it. Hey man, when you thought ever was down and backwards and upside down and crossways. Amen. Lo and behold, God, by His marvelous grace and Spirit, strengthens you and draws you up out of that horrible pit. Praise God. Cold water, bright water, everlasting water. Amen. Water typifies the gospel of freeness. That's F-R-E-E. Amen. Y'all know that they talk about a free lunch. There ain't no such a thing as a free lunch. Somebody has to pay for that lunch. Amen. You may not, but somebody does. No such a thing as a free lunch. Amen. But I glory to God on some hot Sunday. Amen. I'm, I'm an old country boy. I was raised on the farm a good year, many of my early years in life. Amen. And I've seen cows when they would get so thirsty. Amen. Amen. They would run over top of a fence. Amen. To get to the creek. Amen. And drink water. 
Praise God. Now, how much did those cows pay? Amen. For that water that they drank out of the creek, it was free. Somebody say amen. You ever thought, how many of y'all ever seen a hummingbird? I love to see hummingbirds. Amen. We got that little hummingbird feeder on our back deck, and our, my wife loves to watch them. We've had green ones. We've had black ones. We've had various colors of hummingbirds. But when that hummingbird, amen, lights upon that honeysuckle, amen, blossom, and he draws the nectar out of that honeysuckle, amen. Come on here. How much does that hummingbird pay, pay, amen, for the nectar out of that honeysuckle? I'll tell you, it's free to him because God made it that way. Hallelujah. Amen. I know, I know there's a tax on city water. Amen. But there's no tax on the great rivers that roll in perpetual volume. Amen. Out of the eternal book of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Ah, the preacher. Y'all know the preachers have troubles too. I may come as a surprise to some of y'all. Amen. Preachers have troubles too. Amen. But I want to tell you, when troubles come, I have found the source of the fountain of life. Amen. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. When the showers... Praise God. Out of the heavens come to the cornfields. Praise God. Amen. It's free to that corn stalk. That corn stalk don't have to pay for that shower rain. Amen. So is this glorious gospel. Amen. It's free in its pardon. It's free in its hope. It's free in its salvation to all who will accept it. Amen. Somebody say amen. I hear the word of God talk to me. Away with your good works. Amen. You can't purchase your salvation with good works. Amen. Good works ought to follow a Christian. Come on here. But you're not saved by your good works. It's the mercy of God. It's the goodness of God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. This gospel, amen, is free to all who will accept it. Amen. Amen. You don't have to come on here. We receive an offering in every church service. Amen. That we have. But praise God. Amen. You can't buy salvation. No, hey man, you can't buy this glorious experience of mercy and grace and God. Hey man, divine, <laughs> divine mercy. Hey man, this gospel is free to whosoever will. <laughs> he is the bread of eternal life. Hey man, glory to God. There is bread enough in despair. What was it that that prodigal son said when he was in that far away, foreign country? Amen. In a hog pen, in muck and mire. Amen. Starving to death. And the Bible said he came to himself. And he said, how many of my father's house has hired servants? And they have bread enough and to spare. Praise God. I want to tell you, the word of God is free. And it's good enough for anybody. Anybody can have this glorious gospel. Amen. The Bible said, come without money and without price. Amen. This is heavenly manna. This glorious gospel in this fountain that flows from the eternal throne of God. Amen. Doesn't cost you a nickel. It's free. Praise God. You mean I don't have to pay for it? No. You don't have to work for it? No. Amen. Come on here. You don't have to give for it? No. This gospel is free to whosoever will. Let him come and drink of the waters of life freely. I got to close here. Amen. A few minutes. I ain't done yet. This glorious gospel has a plenty. It's in abundance. Amen. Has abundant supply. When we pour water, that good cold water out of that ice pitcher, 
into the glass. You have to be careful. Amen. You have to be careful. Or that glass will overflow. And we stop when that water has come to the rim of that glass. Uh, But I want to tell you this evening. When God pours out his blessings and his showers. Amen. He keeps pouring. And he pours. And he pours on. Amen. Until the grass blade said, I've had enough. He pours, praise God, until the flowers, amen, and the blooming bell in the garden says, I've had enough. Amen. God keeps pouring of his blessings. Amen. Of water until the trees have said, I've had enough. Amen. God just keeps right on pouring and pouring until the fields are soaked. Praise God. And the rivers overflow. And all the cisterns are full. And the great reservoirs are supplied. And there is water to turn the wheel. Amen. A machinery. Praise God. Water to slack the thirst of a city. Amen. That has had their water supply on ration. Amen. But all of a sudden, because there's an abundance of rain out of the heavens, amen, there's enough water for whosoever will. I want to tell you, there's plenty in abundance. It don't matter whether you're rich or whether you're poor, man or woman, boy or girl, amen. All you have to do is come to this river that never runs dry. Praise God. Somebody say amen. There's enough for one, there's enough for all. You all remember, not too long ago, I preached to you about Jacob's well. Amen. And uh, the fountain, that well of water. Amen. And Jesus said to that woman at the well of Samaria, Amen. Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us this well? Amen. And uh, he and his family drank of it. And all of his cattle drank of it. Amen. Now for centuries. Amen. There's still water in the well. Praise God. Amen. And amen. All the people. Amen. Between Jacob's time and now. Has drank out of this water. And out of this well. And yet the fountain. Amen. The well has never run dry. Amen. Never been exhausted. I want to tell you, glory to God. My father drank out of this glorious gospel well. My mother drank out of this glorious gospel well. Amen. My brothers and sisters drank out of this gospel well. Amen. Multitudes that's gone on the glory out of this church. Amen. Has drank out of this glorious gospel well. But it's still got water in it. And whosoever will, let him come and drink of the waters of life freely. There's plenty in abundance. Praise God. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. In this gospel fountain, there's water enough for all the armies of earth and all the armies and angels of heaven. Amen. You can drink. Amen. Today, but you cannot drink it dry. Amen. Oh, you see. Amen. You cannot be tempted above that that you're able to stand, uh, to uh, take. Amen. But the Bible said, and from every temptation, God will make a way of escape uh, that you may be able to bear it. Praise God. Oh, my dear folks. We've had several funerals lately. Our loved ones have gone on into that eternal world. But I want to tell you, you don't have to bereave. Amen. Or sorrow long. Amen. For our light of frictions are only for a moment. And they work out a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Amen. There's abundant supply. Amen. Because our loved ones has gone to glory. Amen. Does not mean that we have to waller in the pity of self. Amen. Pity. Amen. And sorrow and grief. But our God will, will give you water to drink. Amen. That you'll never. 
never thirst again. What a God we have. Amen. I'm about ready to quit. Amen, Philip. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. Let him that is a thirst come. Whosoever will, let him take the waters of life freely. I'm talking to y'all about running water that never runs dry. Somebody say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, I was uh, I was thinking, and that's dangerous for me sometimes, do all this thinking business. Amen. But I was thinking, uh, amen, I've crossed a lot of big rivers in my life in the, on this continent and other continents as well. Amen. I've crossed the Mississippi River I don't know how many times. I've never seen it dry. I've seen it low, but I've never seen it dry. I've crossed the Ohio River. Amen. And it's never been dry. Praise God. Somebody say praise the Lord. Amen. Through, through the great cities. Amen. London has its river running right through the middle of it. I've seen it. Amen. But it's a filthy Thames river. Amen. Paris has its river running through it. Amen. But that river too is unclean. Venus has water running through it. Amen. But it is, amen. It is, uh, it, it, it is disturbed by the filth. Amen. I've been to Cairo, Egypt. Amen. And the great river, Nile River, that flows down through there. Amen. It's so filthy. Amen. I can't bear. I've, I, I, I've been on that Nile River. Amen. And y'all stay with me. This is not too uh, appetizing, I know. Amen. But I've seen, I've seen the women taking their dishes down to the edge of the River Nile, washing their dishes in that river, and in just a few feet away. Amen. It, come on here. It's cows and animals. Amen. Dropping manure in that same river. Amen. That is a filthy river. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, there's a river of life flowing, flowing from the throne of God that has no filth and no dirt and no slime and no corruption. This river is free to whosoever will. Let him come and drink of the waters of life freely. Praise God. Hey, hey man, I want to tell you tonight, I'm glad for this river of life. I'm glad for this glorious river. Hey man, of all of these cities that I mentioned to you that's got rivers flowing in the midst of them, but I read in the book of Revelation, praise God, there's a new Jerusalem after a while that we're going to inhabit. Amen. The tree of life there. There's twelve golden gates. Amen. Come on. And each one is a solid pearl. Amen. There's the trees of life that gives forth its twelve fruits and its season. Amen. And the leaves of the trees are for the healing of the nations. But glory to God, there is the river of life that those trees of life is planted by the river of life. Hey, madam, there's no corruption there. There's no sin there. Praise God. I want to live good enough to where I can hear him say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. I'm glad. I'm glad for this river of life that flows from the throne of God. Amen. And the bride say, Come, let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him come and drink of the river of life freely. Don't cost you, you just got to come. While every head is bowed and every eye is closed, I wonder tonight in this wonderful congregation. 
Amen. If there's one precious soul that in this congregation tonight that slipped up your hand and by that uplifted hand, I know you want the prayers of this preacher. Preacher, I need to drink that free living running water. Amen. I don't know much about God, but I sure need to know more than I do. Is there one hand tonight that slip your hand up, preacher, pray for me. Preacher, pray for me. I need help from the Lord. Amen. Oh, it's one soul, one soul, anywhere. Amen. Oh, God. How many of you precious saints have loved ones, kinfolks, relatives that don't know God? Amen. You want to see them come to this river of life. God bless you all over this place. Let's come pray. Let's come pray. Amen. Praise God. Come on around this altar. Let's call on the name of the Lord for this glorious gospel. It's a bright gospel. It's an abundant gospel. His ample supply for everyone to come. Glory to God. It is a refreshing gospel. Is a river that frees the soul from sin. Come to these waters for there is a vast supply. Oh, there is a river that never shall. Oh, there came a 
of sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind oh it filled their hearts with gladness and it gave them peace within oh the prophet gave this promise he said the spirit would descend and from your inner being a river with no that never 
Verse Elrod.